Welcome back to Open Line as we continue our discussion on whether Tennessee should remove Confederate monuments. I want to get right back to the phone lines. People have been waiting. Let's go right to Jeff. Jeff, you are live on Open Line. Go ahead. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> yes, I, uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for taking my call. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to have this conversation. I'm, uh, I'm wondering why there's not more conversations taking place with all this uh, going on because uh, the world, I, I'm 55 years old and, and I don't recognize where we are today. Uh, there's so much violence, some, you know, um, and as far as the, you know, the taking down of the monuments, uh, I understand the, the pain that comes with certain you know, with people who see these monuments and how they reflect them, uh, affect them. Um, but at the same time, uh, I, I, I don't support slavery. I don't support any type of racism. I don't support, I, I do support people's right to protest peacefully, okay, and to have dialogue. And I think a big problem that we have is poor education. You know, uh, everybody should respect everybody and respect each other's differences and they expect each other's opinions. And, uh, you know, the Constitution gives people the right to say whatever they want to and to fly those flags and, and all that. Um, but it also gives the other, you know, people from the other side of the aisle or the view the same protection to speak out against it. And, uh, you know, as far as removing these monuments, I think a big part of the, the issues that people have with them is a lot of these, these Confederate soldiers and Union soldiers during the Civil War, regardless of what side they were on, they fought because they they were following orders. They were following their leadership. You know, we send troops to Afghanistan, Iraq, and all those guys are doing are following orders. It's not their job to question it. It's their job to to, to do what they're told to do. And you know, a lot of Confederate soldiers died. And a lot of Union soldiers died who didn't support slavery in any way. They were protecting their families and following their orders. So, you know, it, 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 it's, a, it's kind of a touchy situation when it comes to, especially the Civil War. I mean, we had brothers and from, you know, brothers killing brothers, family members killing family members. Yeah, they Jeff, were doing I definitely what understand they where you're coming from. Believed was what they were supposed to be doing at the time. And, and Jeff, I'm so sorry. We're going to have to cut you off. We're running a little short on time, but we appreciate you calling in and stressing again that having a discussion on this is important, which is a, what we were hoping to do tonight. Absolutely. I agree. I appreciate your comments, and I do think we need to keep the discussion going. Well, we want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. Representative London Lamar from Memphis, thank you so much for your insight, all of your comments, uh, listening patiently as we tried to navigate all these phone calls, and we want to thank everyone <laughs> who called in. And we do hope this was an important step in starting that discussion or continuing that discussion, um, as this is an issue that we are going to be following for a while as things continue to advance. Thank you so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And we will be right back after this short break. Stay with us.